And basically, guess what? Purpose plus engagement equals deep learning, right? Like for example, for me, I could stand up here, I'm pretty confident that any question you throw at me, I'm going to be able to give you a fairly good answer that, that is substantiated by the science. Well, how do I know that? Because I'm not depending on my memory. Imagine if I had to depend on my memory, I'd be a complete wreck up here, right? Because I'm going to say, I'm going to forget, how am I going to do this? Because if you, if you are passionate about something, you don't have to depend on your memory. And we are training kids to go into these examinations halls based upon memory. And some kids have great memories, that's great, but what about the other kids who don't have good memories? I mean, there's high incidence of kids committing suicide. The pressure on kids is unbelievable. And guess what? The more pressure there is on a kid, the less likely he is going to remember something. Why? Because when the brain ha is stressed, it makes a natural defense mechanism to shut out the stress. So when a kid is learning something in a stressful way, the brain remembers the stress and the content. So now when the kid is trying to remember that content in the exam, he's not going to be able to remember it because the brain is going to shut that out because he says, no, no, that was stress. You're also putting the stress with it, so I'm going to shut it out. So essentially, the way we have set up schools is exactly counterintuitive to the way human beings learn. It's exactly the opposite. If we had designed a system to, 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 to make sure that kids don't really learn, we couldn't have done a better job than the schools that we have. It's a perfect system to make sure the kids don't learn, okay? So, so basically the bar is so low, so low in, in education that no matter what you do, you're going to be successful. No matter what you do, you're going to do better, which is the only reason we are successful because we're not doing what everybody else is doing and somehow, somehow we're successful, but that doesn't mean we're that great. It just means, as I said, you, you know, jumping over the education bar is actually pretty easy because it's so, so, so low. So this is a very important date. January 23, 1990. Let's see, what time is it? Whenever you guys are hungry, you should just get up and go, okay? Uh, January 23, 1993, very, very, very important date. You know why? Because the US government released something called Mosaic. It was a web browser and it was released to the public. And that was a very key date because that allowed today's internet to come into being. And since that, you can't even see um, on the chart, 1995 or 1993, because there were the, the websites were in the thousands, 10,000, 25,000. Now it's close to a billion. Not just to meet his friends, but for other reasons. He's going to building a robot there, maybe. You know, he's doing a science experiment that he really enjoys. So he's, he's, he has a teacher who's started teaching about literature, and, and he's really into, into writing, or whatever it is. But something that makes him or her passionate, and they want to go to school. Why not? Why waste those hours that they are in school? So yesterday was this today. So basically, here's a key paradigm. Same teacher at the same time, in the same place, group by the same age, right? So tomorrow and today, each child, now this is the key difference. Before it was all children, the key words here are each child. That means we're not assuming that all children are the same. Each child learns different things from different people at different times and different ways with others of different ages. Just as I told you about that course, the MOOC course, the Harvard course, we didn't have to be the same age. Nobody stopped us at the door and said, hey, physically stops schools from doing 21st century education. Physically stops. Because the minute you put a student in a classroom, boom, you're done. Because the teachers can't teach in a team. Students who get the first in rank, and what are they talking about? The exams. They're not talking about the kids that failed. They're not talking about the kids that committed suicide. They're not talking about all those kids, right?